would imagine that the live viewers on this video are going to be pretty low this early, um, unless you're also at a horse show. This is the only thing to get us up so darn early. So we are joining you live from the Norma Agnew Memorial Harry Horse Show and Clinic. If you have not heard of this event, it is fantastic. I encourage you to add this uh, horse show to your calendar next year. It'll be April 6, 2019. What happens is there isn't necessarily awards and ribbons given out at this horse show. The judges instead wear microphones and give immediate feedback to participants throughout the day. It's super awesome. So you'll definitely want to add this to your calendar. Um, and it's just a one day show. You guys can walk by, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> now you have to walk by. <laughs> it's live, that's why we do live videos. They're much easier than scripted. So anywho, uh, my sister and I were chatting yesterday. She's not new to horses. She snuck away. It's my sister. She's not new to horses, but she's, and then yes, the daughter, the horse handler here. Uh, and she's not new to horses, but she's new to being a horse show mom. And we know that there are a lot of people in her same boat. And so we're gonna do a series of live videos. I know you for right, sure, right? right. Um, on just different stuff that, guess what? I am a big believer in how would you know unless somebody told you. So we're gonna do some things that are probably a little bit vain that aren't necessarily um, super educational, like putting in a fake tail. Do you need a fake tail? Absolutely not. But I'm guessing the majority of you have fake tails that have stock horses. And not everybody knows how to put them in uh, the correct way. So we also already have some videos on this same page here on like how to do horse show hair. Uh, maybe we'll do one on horse show makeup. Like I said, some of these will be a little bit silly, but still useful. Um, so these, we're gonna have a bunch of these for horse show moms. What are some of the others we thought of? Uh, clipping, clipping, bathing, like bathing, um, how to do the forelock, just things like when I show, my parents did these things for me. I didn't have to do a lot of it when I was a little bit older. It's been a so I'm panicking and I'm tired of asking everybody else how to do everything, so I need to learn how to do it myself. So enter this Horse Show Mom Boot Camp. That's right, Horse Show Mom Boot Camp, Horse Show Parent Tips Extraordinaire. So first thing I wanted to mention is here's the fake tail. Um, this is an investment piece, okay? So get a nice one that actually matches your horse's tail. Um, you can get custom ones, you can get off the rack. If you're lucky like me and have a horse that needs a black tail. Okay, who is stealing my spotlight over here, this horse? Um, the black tails are really easy, right? Oh my goodness. I think that's Kid, actually. Alana, your horse is yelling. He wants breakfast. Um, anywho, get one that matches. Because oftentimes when I've purchased horses, the tail comes with it you know it fits it, you know it's the right length. Um, so it's, it's a good thing to invest in. Also another thing. Yes. Right in front of, out oh, there. We're gonna throw him some hay, quiet him down. Okay, <laughs> uh, another investment piece here is the tail bag. Keep this nice. Nothing bothers me more than when I see people taking really poor care of their tack and equipment and investment pieces for a second. Teaching how to pe people put fake tail in on the Facebook page. All right, so um, there's more than one way to, are you, are you on me right now? Yes. Okay. There's more than one correct way to do this. If you guys have a different way to do it, tear it up. What we're going to do first here is brush this horse's tail out. It's clean from last night. The fake tail is also clean. Um, you can soak it in fabric softener and water. But we just use like suave to wash, cheap suave to wash the horses. So. Oh, and the downy makes um, the tail smell really good too. Okay, so what you wanna do, um, this horse doesn't have the world's most beautiful real tail. Okay, you can see that, I know. Sorry, Billy, I hope you didn't hear me. Um, and certainly if I'm gonna hang out behind a horse, I'm gonna know the horse really well or I'm gonna stand off to the side while I do this. So you have the tailbone here. His tailbone stops right about here. It's actually a pretty short tailbone, partly because of how it's curved. Um, but I need to hold the fake tail up and kind of guesstimate where the braid is going to be, all right? 
go ahead and go to the bottom of the tail tailor. We want the fake tail to be like right here. He has hairy legs. We have not shaved. This is the hairy horse shell. We want it to fall like right at the ergot here. Okay, or these fat blocks. Okay, sorry, you've got you need the ergots picked. Um, and you'll notice here since this is the first show of the year, his real tail is longer than his fake tail. So we'll trim that after we put the fake tail in. Um, you do not want to trim your fake tail to match your real tail. Fake tails don't grow. Um, that sounds silly, right? But I have seen someone hack like three inches off a fake tail because they hung it too low. Make a new braid and hang it again. Um, so for this guy, we'll come back up here. Um, you'll wanna put it on the outside of the tailbone. If you put it on the inside of the tailbone or you hang it below the tailbone, that's where you oftentimes will see a tail between the horse's legs swinging around. I'm sure you guys have seen that when horses are trotting and that happens. Do you want to sneak right here? You're like right here. Just walk by. This horse is not going to cause an issue. All right. So what I'm going to basically do is start a braid and then I'm going to loop this braid through here and capture in this um, horsehair loop and then continue braiding on, braid a touch into the fake tail, and then uh, see how things look. So here we go. I'll admit this is probably my least favorite chore of the horse show morning. <coughs> so I'm hoping once I teach my sister how to do it, she can do this and I'll do four locks or something. <laughs> there's, <clears throat> there's lots of different tops two fake tails, so, but they all essentially work the same way. You're gonna take some of the horse's hair and somehow intertwine it in the fake tail hair and call it a day. Not a very big braid. A big braid means that you're going to have to hide a big chunk of hair that might be sticking out later. Okay. And then typically you might wanna do two braids. Um, so do the first one is kind of the holder and the second one is a supporter because that's a lot of weight for just one little tiny braid to be holding on to. Okay, so I did a few um, crosses of the braid here. Then I'm going to take two of my sections. Like I said, Billy has a pretty short tailbone, so um, I'm not going to go braid down very far. So now what I'm gonna do is grab those two pieces, pull them through the top of my fake tail. Now I'm gonna separate those two pieces back out and go back to braiding. Can you see it? Back to braiding. And then it will be held right in place where I looped it through. Maybe get on the other side, it would be a little easier though. Okay, right now make sure that you're braiding down, not out. That helps train the braid to lay down. Okay, I'm staying close to the tail. And then as I get close to that fake tail, I'm gonna grab little pieces of it, making sure that I don't get tangled down here. It's almost now, once you get to the fake tail, like a little tiny French braid, because you're gonna grab little pieces each time. This is real live here, people, getting all the snake snarls. Okay. I think it's quite clear from here I'm no hairdresser. So this is real life, guys. If I can do this, I know you can do this. I can't even really French braid my own daughter's hair, but I can hang a fake tail, darn it. Okay, so I go down, look, can you guys tell how bad of a braid that is? That's fine. Okay, can you help me with those snarls a little bit over there? Thank you. What are friends for here? 
Okay, and so then I'm gonna loop it down. I know that some people right now, um, they would do a second braid for videos purposes. I'm not going to um, because I don't wanna bore you all to tears, but you would just do a second braid along the back and do it the exact same way, guys, okay? And then some people also take electrical tape and braid, I'll show you where, what they do with that. Again, maybe I'm the laziest tail putter in her. Okay, so now this will kind of cloak all around that and hide it. You could put a second one for support, so um, it's more than just a little tiny braid holding all of the weight of this tail up. This is probably, this tail's probably a full pound. Um, and then <clears throat> they would take electrical tape and just tape around here to hold down those braids. I don't do that. Let me show you what I do to help hide it. Okay, I take his real hair. We get a little Jersey Shore up in here. We back comb, guys. <laughs> so easy, right? And then that just fluffs around it. I have to do this several times throughout the day. This isn't a one and done in the morning sort of thing. I don't take the tail out until we're done showing for the day, but, um, but I definitely make sure that the tail is hidden. Each time you go in the show pen, like, you should be re-grooming your horse, okay? Um, I am a big believer in try to do all of the free or very inexpensive things to look the part in the horse show ring um, before you worry about adding a big fancy saddle or a super expensive outfit. Like, if you own the fake tail, you can take good care of it, you can make sure that it's put in well, and you can make sure that you brush the tail throughout the day. Okay, so you can back up a little bit. Um, and see, it, I think it's hidden pretty well. And I actually really like the height of it. First try. Oh my goodness. Now it looks so juicy. Yeah. Or is real tail? Real tail. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now. It's fake tail. Yeah, we don't cut the fake tail. <laughs> Unless it's a brand new one and whoever made your tail like agrees it's too long for the horse. Um, but shorter fake tails are less expensive. So if you can, if it's so long that you can actually buy a shorter one, I would do that. Uh, okay, so what I do is I take the whole tail. I don't want to scare you, like I'm going to cut it. Okay, I take the whole tail and run my hand down it so that it's in one tight ponytail. This is going to be so easy, guys. This is his real tail, I promise. Yay! Dude, we did it! Yay! Yay. Okay, so um, some other things to keep in mind. Don't kneel behind the horse, probably. <laughs> uh, some other things to keep in mind. Don't braid your real tail and then expect it to match a straight fake tail. So they need to be of the same consistency as well, you know, and these look really, really great. So I think we did good. I hope this is helpful. We'll do lots of little videos like this on um, tips from a horse show parent. All right. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Yay. How do I, oh.